A very warm welcome to the TradingMentors.com. This is Chris. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend. It's uh, This is the weekly Forex forecast for the 28th of November to the 2nd of December. And we're going to go through the markets, do a full market analysis and discover what's happening for next week. So the first thing we're going to look at is the news events for this week. What's happening? What impact they are going to have, the news. And the DXY, is it risk on, risk off now? We'll be going over the DXY and see what's going on in the next few days. The futures contracts, let's look at what is the weakest futures contracts and what is the strongest. This gives us a clue as to where the prices are going next. The indices will be discovering what's happening for stocks now. And it's some very interesting charts which I'll go over with you. Commodities, gold, silver and oil and one of my clients in telegram has asked for natural gas as well so hopefully i'll remember to have a look at that as well i don't trade natural gas but we'll have a look at it anyway then we go on to the full forex analysis to see what's going on and where the best trades are there are some fantastic setups coming up then lastly at the end of the video i'll give you my favorite trades for the coming week with start targets and we're going closer to the market to see what's going on don't forget to subscribe into the YouTube channel if you don't mind. That would be great. And also there's 50% off the VIP, DVA and Advanced Pro charts only until Monday. They are being switched off on Monday. That is it. That is your chance. So let's go into the markets and enjoy the video. So I'm delighted to welcome you to the market analysis for this week coming. And I hope you can enjoy this video and Join me as I trade every day if you like. I do the daily analysis for members only and there's a 14 day trial. If you want to join me, please do the description. Um, the, the links are in the description. So let's go on to the DXY, the US dollar index. And what happened from last week as I posted last week's video we had a target of 106.50 and it hit that nicely. And now we have a kind of double bottom. It's not gone quite deep enough for a double bottom. If it had, then obviously we'd have a bounce. But what's likely to happen now is hit, hit this order block at the bottom of this channel. As you can see this bottom of this channel here, the price is likely to move up and go strong. Still weak. We don't have confirmation of that yet in terms of the advanced pro charts. But uh, that's the advantage of the daily video analysis. We can have a look at it every single day and get into markets much quicker. So the target for this week on the DXY is 110.50. Many pairs, as you'll see as I go down the list, are hitting order blocks now, which is really interesting because if we get a double top, which we do have on some of them, then these are great trading opportunities. So Euro futures has been rallying as I've been recording and telling you. So there's been opportunities to buy the Euro on many pairs, including the Euro Canadian, uh, Euro dollar. So if you've gone into that with your charts, then congratulations to you. Now we have to wait and see where this goes. Now there's no confirmation as yet, but a double top is highly likely to be a reversal point. And a target for this week is 10050. Sterling has been rallying. This is the Sterling futures and we had a nice double bottom, which is what we like to see. And the price rallied from there. So a nice opportunity as you had a buy signal on your chart. So if you're buying Sterling at this stage, then you probably made a, a quite a bit of money. Aussie futures has risen to this. I have been here for a few weeks now. It's not really done much. It's just gone sideways pretty much now hitting an order block. So again, if we get a double top, then there's an opportunity here. There is a double top on one of the Aussies. I'm going to go over that in a minute. That's one of my favorites. So the target for this week is 0.6329 week Aussie futures. After the massive decline of the yen in the last few months, this is simply a correction. This is nothing more than a correction, guys. So just watch out for the yen again. It's going to start to fall. Uh, the first target for this week is 007060, and that's the yen futures going weak. Similar situation with all the Canadian futures now hitting uh, an order block, which is a selling zone and highly likely to fall in the next few days. 
the targets on the futures are pretty irrelevant actually <laughs> but we'll do them anyway um, because we don't trade them the targets were relevant it's just so you can keep an eye on that and get a sense of direction again with the Swiss futures we hopefully would have a double top we don't yet but nonetheless this is highly likely to roll over and target 10080 gold futures have been rallying for a number of weeks as you can see here and you could have took advantage of that but now there's a problem for this to go higher because of this major resistance area now the we need to see this price break the support area first don't we you can see that there but the futures if this gets broken we get a sell signal then of course that's going to target 5100 in the futures of course with commodities they're US dollar based so again it much depends on the DXY if the DXY is getting ready to rally as we as we suspect then this will drive the commodities lower so again with silver we've got a sell signal already but it needs to break this uh, uh, support area here once it gets broken with a sell order then it's going to target 1950 or even this support area here which is going to be 20.08 congratulations if you traded the dow jones the us 30 we had a lovely buy signal here sell signal here another sell signal back here and so when you see a buy order that's the time to get in above the blue line and now interestingly this is gone a bit too far it hit our target of 32.659 and let's have a look at the detail so we can see here that the MACD histogram is achieving lower lows while the price is achieving higher highs so there is going to be a breakdown and we just need to wait for the sell signal <coughs> on your chart once you get that that is confirmation to sell Dow Jones and so the target is didn't write it down 33.00 that is the support area it could go even deeper depending what the dxy does what the us dollar does but uh, target for this week 33.00 so if you can see all the colors on this list here the orange <coughs> depicts some very interesting charts so i want to go through each one of those the light blue indicates very close to a buy or on a buy very close and the red indicates a sell now and the blue indicates a buy now so we're going to go through the orange first then our favorites and then the ones we're actually in now so we can actually see what's going on and once i've done the video at uh, the end of the video i will go through each one on the lower time frames so you can see what's going on this is particularly useful for people who i'm coaching so you can actually see what I'm looking at and hopefully your charts will agree with me who have the advanced pro charts. So this is the DAX, the German DAX. And as we can see, it's hitting an order block, which is interesting. So we're just waiting for the sell order. But you can see here there's there's um, divergence, negative divergence. If you haven't read my book, then just direct me, DM me. <laughs> and uh, i'll get that to you as soon as possible the target for this week on the dax is thirteen thousand four hundred. the s p 500 congratulations if you traded this now what's happening at the moment is we do have a double top on the lower time frame as you can see here it's now got to 4028 is the double top formation However, that could get broken and continue up to 4118. Bitcoin. On to Bitcoin. Some of you love Bitcoin. I'm not a great lover, but nonetheless, this is for you guys. So we could, we're seeing that we've got a sell order on Bitcoin at the top here. It is continuing. We don't see any reason why it should change. We have a order block here as well as it's pulled up. So our target might not it might not be for this week it might take a couple of weeks our target is 11,858 if you remember silver futures uh, is down of course and so we have a sell order on silver as you can see a sell order just appears on your chart automatically 
and we don't have confirmation yet of a sell because we need this price to break this support area here once it does it's going to target 19.50 well oil what can i say about oil it's been all over the place <laughs> chopping and changing it's not sure where to go now we do have a double bottom which is highly significant and the lower point is 76.57 hit our target of 76.80 from a week ago or so now we're expecting a bounce but i'm not going to be trading this for a little while until we get clear confirmation but the target for this week is 88 dollars natural gas i know some of you trade natural gas so here i am doing my bit for you <laughs> Uh, so we can see now we have a buy order in here on natural gas comes onto your chart naturally once we have a buy order above the blue line this is highly significant and the other tools I've confirmed it as well we have all the buys in and the histogram on the MACD is also showing continued uptrend so the target for this week is 8.071 congratulations if you sold gold from last week we predicted the target of 1728.8 hit it and bounced straight back off it on this support area here and now for this week as long as the rally much depends on the dxy which where it goes this may turn down back and have a double bottom but the target for the next week is 1779 don't forget guys there's a 14 day free trial in my forex technical analysis every day during the new york session so come along join <coughs> excuse me as 14 day free trial you can cancel any time but you won't all the details are in the description below so on to the us swiss we're going to go through the majors now there's only a couple here majors which are interesting oh the aussie as well and then we'll go on to the miners and my favorite trades and we're dialing in to the lower time frames to see what's going on so this is the us swiss congratulations if you shorted the us swiss at 98.50 this was a breakdown of a double top which is perfect as it broke down the neckline there was a sell and it sold down to this order block here so this is major support i don't know if you can see this channel here this is an upward trend channel and the price has now hit that as well so we're likely to see a bounce uh in line with the dxy and so the target is back to 0.9820 congratulations for everybody who traded uh, pound canadian if you have the charts then of course you can make your own mind up and it's best too i'm not looking at the charts all day but you may feel that once you have the charts you can make your own mind up so let me just dial in here so you can see what's going on so we had a buy order here back on the 11th of november on the pound canadian we had another buy here on the 18th of november so you had a great opportunity two opportunities to get in or put two positions on totally up to you but congratulations to you guys with the charts so now let's get into the favorite trades for this week <clears throat> with targets and the reasons behind the analysis so ordinarily what happens is within a trend all your buy and all your sellers in this case will be in on the yen in the last couple of weeks as we said weakness of the yen weakness of the dollar weakness of the yen <clears throat> coincides with our chart so once we get a sell order right up here then of course we wait for the breakdown of the blue line the 50 day moving average and then we have a sell hit our target 139.20 with the advanced pro charts but now <clears throat> interestingly we have a little bit of divergence going on here on the histogram and we have a double bottom as well so we don't wait for the trend to convert back into an uptrend yet because this is simply uh, a correction and the target is 142.20 back to the previous high let me go to the four hour chart to explain a little bit more so here's the four hour chart 
so we've got a double bottom so this is very high risk to reward so our stop is going to be below 137.70 so 137.50 would be nice and our target is going to be 142.20 which is this resistance area now <clears throat> what tends to happen is if we're going to see massive weakness on the yen again as it looks like we might and a rally on the dollar then of course this is going to be a big move so let me go to back to the daily to explain a little bit more so we know we've got a double bottom here on a major support area and an order block with a target of 142.20 now if that gets hit happy days we make money but then you're looking for a break above that area as well and if it's strong then there's going to be a big move back up to this area of 148.90 so keep an eye on this and i'll be monitoring this every day because this is a great opportunity to make a lot of money another favorite of mine is the aussie us dollar <coughs> so what's happening here we've got a double top formation at the top of this range highly important and you can see where the, the trend is from this range and our target is 6.6590 let me dial in again closer to the market and you can see a little bit clearer <coughs> so at this hit our target of 0.6780 from last week congratulations if you traded that when we get a buy order on the trade that's all you're looking for now we have a double top the top of the range on the daily with a downtrend and so the target is going to be 0.6590 this could happen tomorrow uh, sorry on monday morning so just keep an eye on that if you're in my vip room i will let you know when it's ready congratulations if you traded the double bottom on the euro aussie a few weeks ago a lovely move indeed and now it had our target of 155.50 and now we see a breakdown potentially and as you can see this is a correction only but nonetheless we can see the trend but there is a, a support line here so any breakdown here of 153.90 is going to target 152.60 let me dial into the four hour chart So we had our sell signal at the top here congratulations if you traded the double top 154.50 was hit now the the price needs to continue to stay below the neckline of 154.22 this is highly important and so we're waiting for a sell below that area which is going to target 152.60 on to the pound swiss another favorite of mine for this coming week and uh, we're expecting this price to bounce off this order block here and move back down to 137.76 <clears throat> and move up back up to target of 11520 let me go into the four hour chart so you can see this so this is simply a fib retracement down to the 50 percent fib retracement uh, 138.22 and then targets 11520 in the coming week congratulations if you traded the swiss canadian that was a nice move and we had a buy signal back here on the 9th of uh, november <coughs> and we hit our target of 1.4020 very nice profit indeed now the price is actually broken to the upside as well so we're looking for a pullback on this so let's dial into the lower time frame and do a bit of technical analysis so we're expecting a deeper push down it may come down to this area before we get another buy we've got a sell signal so this is good we don't get a buy signal until we've got a sell signal so you can put an alert on this and uh, if you right click put on the alert for a buy it will email you automatically when a buy occurs so you haven't got to keep looking at the chart all day long but i'm expecting a deeper pullback down to about 61.8 percent fib and then 139.50 and then a bounce up to target for this week 1.4280 
we've got a pretty fresh signal on the pound yen and um, it's got a bit of resistance here at the moment but that's okay let me dial down to the four hour chart and show you what I mean as you can see here we've got a buy order in but a fresh buy signal there's support for this price there's more support than resistance see the one line at uh, one line opposed to three so that indicates some strength we have a strong buy signal above the 50 day moving average so we've got a target for this week of 170 a double top on the New Zealand yen this is the last one and so we expect this price to fall from here <coughs> and target 83.80 now of course if it breaks above the double top then that's a new trend anyway again I'll monitor this daily so that if it does <coughs> end up breaking then we'll be in a long but for now we're short down to 83.80 well I hope you enjoyed this uh, 21 minute video and um, I hope you have a wonderful trading week and have a great weekend if you want to join me on my journey then please see the description below and I'll uh, help you on your way